And joining us now by phone, Julie Dutton of the U.S. Geological Survey, which provides earth science research and information to aid in a variety of areas, including public safety. Uh, Julie, let me start off then by asking you, was there any clue at all? Did the science show that possibly something like this might happen? No, um, this is not a highly active region as far as seismicity. Um, so this is um, not something that we anticipated, but um, th there have been earthquakes in the region. Not very many, though. Sure. Now, I know, uh, having lived in Illinois for many years and having felt a quake that was attributed to the New Madrid Fault uh, some, I don't know, a couple decades ago, I guess, I, I'm not sure, but would this be in any way connected to that New Madrid Fault, or we just don't know that? Um, it's uh, quite a bit farther north than the New Madrid, New Madrid system. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of um, smaller fault systems that are all throughout the eastern United States um, that are poorly located and may cause earthquakes here and there. So um, it's not associated with the New Madrid, but it's um, not unusual to have small mm. quakes in the region. Well, why don't you give us a bit of a, a step back to probably even grade school or high school, but what is it that actually makes this even happen in the first place? I mean, it was just a bit of a rude awakening for folks, but what's it all about? Well, in, in this region, <clears throat> um, can't, we don't know the exact stresses of the, the area right now, what fault system it's on, but um, on a basic level, you've got um, earth crust uh, have, has plates associated with it, and mm -hmm. these plates are moving, and as the plates move and shift, you have um, collisions or separations, and that's what causes the earthquakes, just mm -hmm. a stress and strain release on the earth crust. Well, obviously, it's, it's good news that it's as minor as it was, but is this something where you have to expect sort of an aftershock type of thing where there could be more damage? Um, in this region, that's not likely. Um, I think the last earthquake we had um, was magnitude 4.2 within 100 kilometers, and it was in two, 2004. And prior to that, it was 1999, and prior to that, it was 1985. So. It's, it's not something that typically um, creates aftershocks, and we don't anticipate that. Well, okay, you're making us all feel a lot safer. <laughs> Thanks, Julie Dutton, U.S. Geological Survey. Thanks.